If you're interested in finding that perfect piece of property and building the home of your dreams, then this episode is for you. While most people shop for property during the summer, spring is actually the best time to find that perfect parcel. Let's say you think you've found your dream piece of property. There's more to land than what you can see from the road. While building your dream home on a big open piece of land may seem exciting, the question you have to ask is, do I have access to utilities? That's something we need to think about. Have you ever thought where this goes? Well, if you aren't on city sewers, you're going to have to have a perk test to determine the percolation rate of the soils. In layman's terms, a good percolation means the soils can absorb the flush. Bad percolation means you're going to have to invest in an engineered field and possibly even pumping. All of that is going to add to your budget and could be upwards of $25,000 or more. And that is going to stink. Yep, I said it. Speaking of utilities, we also want to look at how close the gas and electric mains are to your property. It isn't unusual to spend over $10 a linear foot to bring the utilities to your property through things like directional boring. And that's one heck of a boring way to spend your budget. We also need to think about your water source. If you're going to have to drill a well, how deep is it going to need to be? What kind of water are you going to get? Are you going to need a water treatment system, filtration, reverse osmosis? These are all things that we need to consider. So you've found that dream piece of property, and you can't stop thinking about that view every morning while you're having coffee. But this is a reason we like to shop in the spring. The melting snow, the rains, they all show you potential water problems that you might experience on that property in the future. And while sometimes they're not always easy to spot, sometimes they are. This is why I always recommend having a subsurface soils investigation, better known as a soil boring, completed before you purchase the property. Because we don't want to build your dream home on a hidden or buried swamp. So you've found a beautiful piece of property with a lush tree-lined view. That's fantastic. But the seasonal effects on the property are as important as your zoning and deed restrictions. Because while this may be your view in the summer, in the fall and winter, this could be your view. It is also wise to research your zoning and your deed restrictions to confirm you can build the type and the size of the house you want. Many modern subdivisions have regulations which require both the size as well as the style of home. You'll also want to think about how you plan to live on the property. If something like raising horses is in your future, you'll want to make sure it's permitted by zoning. So none of this is intended to scare you away from building your dream home. I've had a lot of clients in the past that have had bad experiences with these types of problems. So I want to share them with you so that your next building experience can be your best. And these are my design notes. Can I get out of the swamp now? <laughs>